Inventory control encompasses all the processes that support the supply, the storage, and the accessibility of items in order to ensure their availability while minimizing inventory costs. In practice, inventory control covers diverse aspects including the management of inventory, recording quantities of items, their stock locations, and also the optimization of the supply. Generally speaking, inventory control can be split in two major areas the management of inventory and the optimization of it. When managing the inventory, the goal is to sustain a high productivity for all inventory operations. When it comes to optimization, the focus is on maximizing the financial output for the company by attempting to minimize both carrying costs and stock at costs. The inventory presents an anticipation of the future demand and a financial trade-off between conflicting costs. Too much inventory and the carrying costs skyrocket too little inventory, and there is nothing to serve anymore, which incurs stock out costs. Unlike inventory management though, the inventory optimization focuses on taking the best decisions that govern the inventory, such as deciding when and how much to reorder, where to store an item in the facility, and which item needs to be counted and when. The primary challenge of the inventory optimization problem is the uncertainty associated with the future demand. Indeed, as the future demand is unknown, most of the inventory optimization technique rely on statistics to forecast the demand. The optimization decisions are computed as the ones that minimize the expected future costs. But optimization problems can quickly get too complicated. A retailer may, for example, wish to pass replenishment orders that take advantage of all weight and space available in the truck performing the delivery in order to minimize shipment costs. In practice, this means choosing the right mix of heavy items and bulky items. Historically, ERPs have emerged as monolithic solution to address both the inventory management and the inventory optimization problems. However, the specifications for a good inventory management software are very different from those required to make a good inventory optimization software. As a result, we observe that companies that do adopt a monolithic design nearly all suffer from either poor management or poor optimization, the latter being the most frequent case. The problem is further accentuated by the pace of change within the software industry. Indeed, inventory management softwares are, by nature, very sticky software. Once adopted, the cost of change is so great that we routinely observe that it can take up to a decade to fully transition towards an alternative solution for large companies. While the delay is shorter for smaller companies, multi-year transitions are still frequent. This means that many companies operate management software one or two decades old, losing the benefits that would have brought the latter better solutions presently available on the market. In contrast, the optimization part comes with much lower friction with regards to the cost of change. Indeed, it is usually possible to have multiple systems, each one generating its own set of proposals. For example, the list of items to be reordered. And then defining a process to establish which scope of authority should be given to each of the systems.